Airport Supervisor and Acting Operation Manager have told the High Court in Banjul that a total of 2,000 metric tons of gas oil and 10,000 metric tons of gas oil were removed from during Gampetroyalion tank cleaning. Now he further informed the court that the second accused person was appointed in 2019 as operations manager. He said he was assigned by the second accused person to conduct a deep ins of all the storage tanks and verify all the physical stocks in the tanks in order to compare the book stock and the physical stock. But upon doing that, he discovered that there was a huge difference between the book stock and the physical stock. Mafuji Sise tells us more of that in this report. The acting operation manager told the court that he discovered that the gas oil was more and was around eight to 9,000 metric tons, whilst gasoline was about 5,000 metric tons. The prosecution witness said the total storage capacity for gas oil is 20,000 metric tons, whilst the total storage capacity for petrol is 10,000 metric tons, and the total storage capacity for jet fuel 5,000 metric tons. The total storage capacity for heavy fuel is 15,000 metric tons. The total storage for liquidated petrol gas is 1,000 metric tons. When defense counsel Menon asked him why it was necessary to do the daily dip, the witness said, it was necessary to know the available space in the tank and that helped them to know the quantity they can receive from the vessel. He said it was also correct that the larger available space in the tanks, the more one can receive the products from the vessels and the witness responded in positive, saying that is by considering the safety loading area. He was further asked if he can recall the day he received 14,000 metric tons of petrol and how that was done at Gun Petroleum and how GP was was able to receive 10,000 metric tons. He said that is done when the vessel is discharged and refill the empty spaces in the tank. Said Gun Petroleum allow oil marketing companies to oblige products even when on a negative balance. The witness informed the court that sometimes even when Gun Petroleum is not discharging but expecting a vessel, they still create space for the vessel they expecting. Saying this is where the analysis come by anticipating how many products Gun Petroleum is receiving. The depot supervisor told the court that sometimes between 1st January to 1st October, 31st October, Gampetroleum deep saw 0, 0.00 in terms of products and during that time they were expecting a vessel called MT High Discovery. He said the vessel was cancelled at the time at the last minute but he does not know the reason for the cancellation. He agreed it to be correct that if not for the cancellation of the vessel that Gampetroleum was expecting they would not have had 0.00 Zero zero by the 1st of November 2021. PW2 said the whole process starts from the control room where loading tickets are prepared. When the OMCs submit their delivery notes to the control room, the control room will prepare the loading tickets. Then the tickets will be sent to, to the second accused person's office for authorization. The acting operation manager explained that the tickets will then pass to the security gate number three for booking and also put their signatures on it while the safety officers will be inspecting the trucks before their entrance. Then the loading master and the depot supervisor will request for the trucks to enter and the trucks will be properly arranged at their various loading bases. The driver of the truck will now hand over the tickets to the loader. The loader will go through the tickets to inspect and make sure that the assigned quantity corresponds with the capacity that particular truck. The loading master also confirm the emptiness of the trucks before loading them. He further noted that the outbonding cables will be connected to the bonding arm of the trucks which will be lower to the compartment of the truck. The bonding arm has to make base contact and then the quantity stipulated on the ticket will be inset in the meter. The driver will open the fuel valve and hold it. The loader will know the meter on and start delivering the product to the truck. He said after the completion of the delivery, the loader will now reset the meter and the quantity delivered will be recorded in the control room and printed. The driver will move the truck to another place if he is supposed to load another product. So the same procedure applies to all the trucks. The depot supervisor explained that the procedure when the trucks are leaving the Gun Petroleum depot is they will now sign the loading ticket and send to it to the control room where the driver will take the time to, to drive the truck to the sealing area and seal the truck. The control room will prepare the final loading ticket and the sealing numbers will be indicated 
located on the final loading ticket. Ture said the ticket will now be sent to reception where they call the driver to come and sign and accept the final loading ticket which include the quantity. The ticket will now be sent to the second accused person's office for signatures and then the first accused person's office also for signatures. Adding that the ticket will now be resent to this reception for copies of the ticket in which the GRA get their copy from the reception. The driver also will get his copy and the original copy will file in the control room. Then the driver will now leave the depot. He affirmed that based on this, custom copies are comp computed on every truck that leave Gun Petroleum and custom provide escort for the trucks to the border. Adding that these are the procedures Gun Petroleum always follow between 1st January to 31st October and the same procedures was happening at GP before the first and second accused person assume office. He informed the court that it's not only the second accused that authorized the tickets but that GP have other authorized signatories like the product control assistant, junior operations assistants and first and second accused person. Ture said the junior officers normally sign document on behalf of the first and second accused persons at the control room. This means that either the ticket is authorized on their behalf or the final ticket will also be signed on their behalf and the control room has a record of all the tickets they issued between 1st January to 31st October 2021. For Air Africa News, I am Afuji Sisa.